Yoga is the perfect companion in the older years of our life. Practicing yoga enables us to enjoy the fruits of a life well spent. Lord Krishna in the Gita has told us what is day to the worldly man is night to the yogi. And what is night to the yogi is day to the worldly man. In the older years, our yoga practices become more slowly in performance. They become more emphasis on reflection, contemplation, and breathing. Bending, moving, consciously. We can create a body, mind, emotions which are stable and allow us to enjoy those great qualities which come with age. Let us perform a basic movement called Ustra Asana, the camel posture. Breathing in, we'll come up and out, breath down. How do you feel? Oh, very refreshed. A slow, conscious movement with deep breathing is very refreshing and soothing to body and mind. Let us do some <coughs> other practices to develop good deep breath, to stretch the spinal cord, <coughs> and to create a bend in the back. One of my friends, the former vice chancellor, in a chance remark said, in older age we need turnability. We lose our turnability. A very interesting phrase because the <coughs> spine becomes so rigid, the neck cannot turn. Mm -hmm. This type of practice will give us flexibility of neck and enable us to enjoy turnability even as we grow older. Come, put your elbows on the ground. Now lift your head <coughs> and consciously stretch your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax your head. Sit up. Roll the head a little bit in a gentle way. Roll it both directions. Now, what is your reaction to this practice? It is very centering and soothing, and one feels more clear in mind and more light in emotions and being. Let us crawl around. Oh, yes. You may be surprised to hear <laughs> this that crawling is good for you, mm -hmm. good for the knees, good for the hips, and something <clears throat> that almost anyone can do. Yes, yeah, very simple. <laughs> I think you've made a very profound statement and something that we realize as we grow older. The simple things sometimes are the best things. <clears throat> yes, I think this is very true. People think we must do very complicated things, but the simple things are profound and allow us to go deep into ourselves. Yes. Let us do a little bit of head turning. Again, this idea of turnability, keeping the spine flexible, keeping the neck flexible, keeping the shoulders flexible, and sitting straight. <clears throat> Learning to sit straight, keeping ourselves erect. One of the problems we face as we grow older is the tendency to stoop mm -hmm. the shoulders. Yes. Let us breathe in. Bring your hands over the head. Join the hands and give a good stretch. Feel the whole spine lift. Really stretch. Bring the hands back together and breathe out and let the hands come down.
Such simple practices enable us to maintain our turnability, our flexibility, our ability not only physically to move, but our ability to be flexible in mind, emotions, and spirit as well. If we can maintain that type of flexibility till the day we die, we will be a boon to everyone around us instead of a burden. And I think that this is perhaps the wish of every person who is entering the golden years of their life. What do you think? I think you were really saying the truth, a very deep and profound truth. <clears throat> Let us give a good smile to each other and a namaskar, perhaps the best exercise of all.